Hello, you guys. So let me tell you what happened to me. I like to tell you these stories. These stories sometimes is unbelievable, but some things just just, just be making me laugh. So today we had a meeting at work. I always like to tell you my journey at work because that's majority of the places that I get the little harassment done because it's you're isolated and stuck around certain people. So let me tell you what happened. So today we had to have a meeting because throughout our location of traveling. There's been someone that's been using the BB gun to, um, like, shoot up people's cars and crashing their windows and stuff like that. And we drive our company vehicle. So because we drive our company vehicle, our management had a meeting today talking about you guys be careful. You guys take the street because, you know, we care about y'all safety as well as we've been spending a lot of money into these vans because we like i said we work with the community with people with disabilities and we sometimes pick them up take them places or some because our office been closed we just go and make sure if they have anything we deliver stuff to them supplies long story short so we still drive to these people homes to these destinations in the areas that the cars has been getting shot up so within the meeting, you know, our staff members are telling us that we're talking about it. And then they open up the floor for questions and comments, you know, and other people have questions on what to do. And our staff member management team, he says, you know what, just pull over, call the cops if it happens to you or anything. Right. And of course, me the target individual I am, I wanted to bring to their attention about safety, right? Because the guy that is talking to us is an ex-police officer and telling you what to do, how, how we should protocols. And so I asked a question in front of them. I said, so if I see something suspicious, should I follow them? They start laughing. And I'm looking at what? Because y'all know where I'm coming from. If I see something suspicious, should I follow the guy? And the other, other manager comes out the office and start laughing. Why would you do that? Are you crazy? No, we don't want nobody, nobody being a hero. That's what they said, right? But in my head, I'm thinking like y'all are told to follow people around that are deemed to be a suspect. So why does it sound so funny when it's spoken out loud? So when I ask this question, that sounds funny, but it doesn't stop you guys for having people follow target individuals around. So why does that sound like a stupid question? I said, I'm sorry, forgive me for asking a stupid question. I just wanted to ask so people can know about their own safety that you shouldn't follow stuff people around, right? So this is what I'm saying. But in my head, I'm like, I'm asking the question because I just had to have a conversation with one of your staff members not too long ago who I portrayed or deemed, assumed, whatever you want to call it, to be following me around. And she said it was due to the fact that a management had told her to do so so why is it stupid for somebody else to do it but it's okay for you guys to tell somebody to do it in the presence of your office or your location hmm i just wanted to share that with you guys so that you guys can see how they act right things sound unnormal when you bring it to their attention how unsafe it is i said oh so it and so i repeated what the officer said I said, so it would be unsafe to follow um, something or somebody around if it seemed like to be deemed suspicious. Because don't you guys want to obtain evidence? He was like, no, don't do that. We don't want to put you guys in danger. Call the police. Just pull over. Get as much information as you can by obtaining just your observation. He said, you'll be surprised when you're driving how you can just look around and observe different things and remember. Okay? So... I wanted him to say that in front of the young lady that I deemed following me around because she's been told I was some type of criminal that they don't care about your life because you just heard them say that's unsafe. Y'all think about that. Don't they feel it? You always got to hit them with a hurt. Play stupid, but don't be stupid. And that's my number one thing. I play stupid on stupid. So to anybody else that don't know what's going on, that's a stupid question. But to me, I was asking that question to be sarcastic, right? I'm not playing with them. I'm trying to set us free, vindicate us. Even though I know it's already done in the spiritual realm, I'm just trying to make other people surrounding us that participated in these things to understand, to wake up. You're being played. 
I feel that's my job to try to wake up as many people as possible, but I'm not going to stress on it where I lose sleep on it like I used to do. I just throw little hints out there every now and then like, hmm, that's unsafe following criminals around, ain't it? That's what the police officer said in front of the person that was told to follow other people around. 